Hi everyone, it's another week, another Monday with a new podcast episode and today's is another deep one. Guys, I've been getting, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's a YouTube recommendations or I've been getting so many recommendations for videos of people doing the exact kind of content that I do where you just talk and you sit in your bedroom in the car and you talk about life like you're entitled to it's just been everywhere and it makes me kind of insecure and nervous because i'm like everyone's doing this and before you know it all the content that i'm gonna see on youtube is gonna be straight up people doing this just this but i love other types of content and i want to see more of it but i'm just getting the content i'm making makes me feel like an imposter because i'm like i'm just another one of these people just turning on the camera doing these pretty low effort videos not gonna lie yeah i'm like getting super sweaty thinking about it my hands are getting grossly sweaty it's disgusting starting with the high low buffalo for this week this weekend was chinese new year if you guys celebrate happy chinese new year it was so freaking fun to celebrate i did my nails red for the new year because it detracts from the bad luck and we went to flushing in new york city and it was just so nice to get dim sum the dim sum was so cheap 20 dollars. it was hella good cart service too and then we got boba we went grocery shopping there was a parade it was just really really fun to celebrate and lean into it oh i also got a little it's over there i'll put it in the screen but i got a blind box my first blind box it was so exciting and i got what i wanted i happened to choose a blind box where there was only one option i didn't want so my chances were pretty good for my low my groceries have been really really expensive recently i don't know if it's just me but i feel like i'm not eating too differently than i was last year it's just annoying me because yes that's supposed to happen with inflation and whatever but my income is still staying the same also on top of that i found out this is just has to do with money here's some low things about the new year and money i'm in a company that doesn't give bonuses to my level i just found out on top of the fact that we don't get a bonus that the people that are going to be hired that are lower than me for the same position but lower lower level are getting paid way more than me because their income is adjusted for the inflation when I came in at that level, which was a year and a half ago, I got paid way less. Now that I'm one step up because I just got promoted, I still get paid less than the new people coming in a lower level than me. <laughs> the weird thing. So I went to Rumble. I've been boxing recently. Every week, actually. Did I just get a message? I just got a freaking message from somebody that I haven't gotten a message from. That actually should be a buffalo. I've been going to box every single week and i personally don't feel the greatest when i'm working out like i feel really angry and in pain it's easy to make me annoyed and i had this trainer who's so just too much and she was just like yelling every single minute just trying to entertain everyone but i was like i don't want to hear you all i need to do is just focus on getting through this workout she started sexually dancing around the podium and she starts making comments about an ex she was like slay omg slay she was talking about how she got like this one star review and how it just made her super upset and i was just like dude please thank god it was just a 45 minute class because i was losing it i think i just prefer a trainer that just like is very straightforward tells you what to do and just says you got it and like pushes you once in a while talks minimally but this one was just a little bit too much So for today's episode, um, just a few things about success. Things that you don't realize until you try to really go for being successful for a long period of time. Just things that make success a lot more complicated and are the reasons why not everybody is successful. just a few things though before i get started guys this is so funny i've set up my background so you can see a really different part of my room 
but in order to get good lighting because the only window i have is literally right there so i'm in the darkest spot of my room i'm using a huge monitor i'm gonna show you guys and i put on my screen a bunch of cream white background so you can't really see it gives like the most natural looking light and so it looks like i'm sitting in front of a window but i'm actually just sitting in front of a super bright monitor anyways just some hacks if you're trying to do a photo shoot or something okay so on to success the first is success is actually super duper boring and boredom is one of the most painful things i remember as a little kid i would have so much free time which is nice but i remember also hating being bored and it's something that we're really good at avoiding nowadays because we have so many things to stimulate us our tolerance for boredom i feel like is way lower than it's ever been success is boring because you have to think about it any good thing takes a really long time the time that you're spending to get to that goal that you're trying to achieve it involves a lot of repetition and the same habits and routines every single day it's just the little things that you do every single day to wake up early in the morning to whatever it is read one hour a day paint one hour a day whatever it is like it becomes very mundane and you're still getting closer and closer to that goal but because it's at such a small increment you can't tell it gets really boring it starts to feel like you're not making any progress even though you actually are you just cannot see it until you look back whoa one year ago i was like back here but little bits by little bit i got further and further but in the day-to-day -day of things you don't feel that way what a lot of people like to show whenever they're talking about success they like to talk about just that 5% where you like really shoot up because what happens is I feel like this is the trajectory of growth for getting you closer to, to being successful. It's like this and you're like slightly getting better and getting closer and then out of nowhere you just kind of like shoot up and then you're like super successful in this little portion where you shoot up really fast that's where everyone starts paying attention and everyone's like complimenting you and being like whoa like sh that's what success lo really looks like but no what it really looks like is that huge 95 percent chunk where you were doing this <laughs> and you're like oh my god i'm literally getting nowhere and then out of nowhere everyone wants to pay attention to this part where you like shoot up and you're like oh my gosh like finally it's working but you're really working at it the entire time this on top of the fact that you cannot control the outcome you're not guaranteed anything the world doesn't owe you anything just because you put in all this effort literally it owes you nothing and because there's no guarantee you have that risk on top of having to go through long-term pain and sometimes even on top of all of that you have people who don't support you or don't get it and it's not entirely their fault. All they have to judge on whether or not you're going to be successful is their experience of themselves and what they've seen you do. So it's all based on the past. So they know up till this day that you've done X, Y, Z. They know for themselves that they've done X, Y, Z. And if you're trying to reach a certain goal that hasn't really been done by you or that person before they're going to think wow how are you going to get there there's too much uncertainty you're probably not going to get there because you haven't done it yet in order to break that barrier you have to set it in stone that you can do it by accomplishing it and having it be one of the things you've done in the past so you just have to break all these barriers all these layers combined make success super duper difficult and the reason why not everybody is successful so you really got to cut yourself some slack and re remember that you're trying to do something that is has really never been done before by you in your scenario in your context with your experiences maybe like elon musk or somebody else has done it but you are not that person and with your experiences your success is going to be completely unique to the other person even if the goal sounds the same on paper so i just want to say two things about 
about the reality of success about what I just mentioned about it being really boring mundane painful for a really long time two things because that is the case finishing anything should be seen as successful because just getting anything done period is really rare i love the feeling and the adrenaline of starting something new of knowing that there's a lot of hope and something that i can you know explore and because of that there's a lot of new things coming in a lot of stimulus and of course you're going to enjoy that because there's a lot going on but then Finishing through with anything, like I said, involves a lot of going through mundane processes and just repeating the same thing over and over. So just to be able to finish something, even if it's not the best work you've ever done, finishing a book is a lot. Starting a book, there's a lot of excitement about it. You have an idea, you get to learn about how to write it, you get to read other people's work, but then in between, you have to actually write the book. And writing a book doesn't happen just in an hour. It takes days, months, years, a lot of processes where you have to get approvals and things like that, for example. So if you're able just to finish a mediocre book, that's a huge success. That's one thing. The other thing is that I know it's going to feel really difficult to fight against other people's thoughts about you and your own perceptions of what you can do because all you you and the other person and other people have to go off of is the past i know that's going to be difficult so i just want to say there's always going to be space for you there's always going to be room for you even if everyone else has done it even if no one else has done it by going for something that you really really want you're going to make the world a better place period And I feel like everyone should not hold back and should just go for the things that they want so that you just feel more alive and you feel that you're doing what you're meant to do. I feel like when people are doing the things that they love to do and want to do, they're the most happiest, they're the most alive and that just makes the world a better place because it's a ripple effect. That's The energy is really contagious and it's easy to tell when somebody's doing something that they don't want and it just like takes over their life and it makes them feel like very lifeless and dead and like a zombie in another machine in the grand scheme of everything. Next thing about success is that success changes. The idea of what you think success is to you is going to change. When I was really, really little, I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be an astronaut. Throughout my life, I've changed. I wanted to write a book for a really long time. I still want to write a book, but it's not like the main thing. And sometimes you lose what success is to you. You start to lose like, what do you actually want to do? What are your goals? And that is all okay. I'm just saying that is a reality. What happens is people will want to fight against it and be stubborn and be like, why would I change it? Like, I've been wanting this. Why would I go for something else? But in your gut, you know, something something happened, some experiences, something informed you that you actually want something else and that is okay because as you go through your life you're going to learn more and more about yourself learn more and more about the world period and like i said your success your definition of what success is is entirely based off of what you know at the time and you don't know what you don't know so as you keep getting older and you experience more things you open up to things you didn't know and so your definition of success and what is possible and what you actually want to do changes last thing this one sounds i left this one to the last point because this kind of sounds like voodoo oh my god even saying it makes me cringe so bad but it's actually so true success is like a tree (laughs) okay the reason why success can be likened to a tree is because you actually need to be grounded in order to be successful people like to turn it into this very exciting crazy thing where you're just like a lot is going on but really it's more so on getting grounded building roots i don't know if a lot of you guys do this but i'm a very visual thinker and so when it comes to like concepts ideas logic i actually think about it very visually when i think of success like the images that pop into my head are like excitement and energy and like 
going to new places and changing your scenery and changing your environment. Another way to think about it is like staying in one place and like literally building roots and breaking through the soil that's underneath you. So in a way, instead of trying to do more, experience more and achieve more, it's more so of how can you learn more about yourself where you are, no matter where you are. I don't know how to explain this. Mm, Okay. It's like you're trying to build a sculpture and before you build the sculpture, you have a block of marble and you have to chisel at the marble and you learn more about yourself as you chisel. And that's kind of how I see it. It's not like you're building on top of the marble structure and creating something new and bigger. You're actually chipping away at it to see what's hidden. It's more so whatever is successful, whatever your potential is, is already in you. You're already there. It exists, period. You just have to find it. The marble itself is like you. It has all this potential. It was built a certain way. It came to be a certain way. And then from there, you just chisel at it. There's nothing new being added. It's just refining. Does that make any sense at all? Just the last thing about the whole chiseling a marble structure. It it started off as a tree and now I'm talking about a sculpture. It's a, Both ways work. I think both make sense. For the sculpture thing, chiseling at a sculpture takes forever. It's mundane. It's very, very repetitive. It's like that 95% of building up to the success. And then with the tree over time, you start off as a sprout and you're growing and you know that that sprout is going to be a big giant apple tree. But you still need to water every day. It's not just going to pop up even though you know it's going to be there. Every day you have to water little by little and after a couple of years, it'll be a full-grown tree. But the day-to-day, you won't see that tree grow as much until you look back and you're like, God damn, it's like a huge-ass tree but it used to start off as a little sprout. And some days it's going to be bad and it's going to be really stormy and that tree might knock itself over a little bit, lose some branches, lose some leaves, but then it just regrows and eventually you get there. You see, this is kind of how I think of it. Hopefully that helps somebody. The core of it though is there's a million ways that you can be successful. It's just determining what is success to you. It doesn't matter what other people think. Which one are you willing to sacrifice the pain of boredom, of the mundane, of all the time and energy you have to put into getting there? Whatever that is to you, that's what you should go for because you can really go for anything you want. There's one more point I wanted to make about this. It's super important what I just said earlier. I touched on it for like literally two seconds, but you have to remember the other core part of this concept is that you are already successful. It's already there. It's not something you have to find that you don't have yet. Nowadays, people think of success as a deficit, as in you're in point A and you need to get to point B. You're not there yet. You're already there. You just have to untap it. You just have to open the door. You have to allow it to come out. It's just waiting. That's all. Okay. Anyways, super complicated. I'm sure it's way more simple. I'm sure somebody else could do a way better job of explaining it, but hopefully that helps somebody out there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, like, rate the podcast on Apple, Spotify, and yeah, bye. Maybe I'm just a...